There isn't really any control room I've ever been in, in some, whether it's in someone's house or in a recording studio that doesn't have some type of midfield, low end monitoring problem. And, uh, and now that I've become uh, acquainted with the RMC, I can't, I can't recall a time since I've had the speakers that I haven't used it. It makes a tremendous difference. It makes a tremendous difference. It's, it, it, it fixes the things that used to go wrong that made you go, oh man, the kick drum's like 3 dB too loud, or where's the bass, man? The bass is a rumor, you know, or something like that. You know, there were so, there were so many things that, especially moving around as much as I was at the inception of Studio Without Walls, that I had to chase my tail on, and I don't find myself chasing my tail anymore. That's why I'm so excited about the automatic room mode correction. Being able to have that happen automatically is a great bonus for me. I don't think it's an entirely new technology tuning a room or tuning speakers to your room, but I think that there's some proprietary interfacing and approaches that JBL has taken to RMC that really do bring that methodology to the mainstream you know, monitoring system. I think it's really, really important. I think it's going to help things translate and help people make better music in crappier places. You know, and, and as much as as much as I you know, I wish that I was still in major recording studios doing major recording projects and didn't have to worry about the monetary constraints of of uh, of being in a major room, the truth is that we are in smaller rooms and it sure is nice to be able to have tools that give you the same accuracy and monitoring that you're used to when you're at Conway or you're at Oceanway. Because um, the unfortunate reality is that we just can't be there as much as we'd like to be there.